Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and all I can say to you is crying a shimmy sensu. What the hell am I talking about? Well I'm talking about the game we're going to jump on guys that's what. This has been requested by my best mate Nate and it's one I have covered before on my channel I hadn't realised until I started playing it again and I was like oh my word. I've shown this, but it was quite some time ago, guys. Now, yeah, that's what it was called in Japan, guys. Crying Shimi Sensu. But once it was released into North America and Europe, it got changed to Biohazard Battle. And what a fantastic shoot em up it is. Awesome, awesome. Such a very different type of enemies, guys. Literally like... You're under the sea one minute, and then, oh, like, almost like worms. Oh, you're going to see anyway, guys. Well, this gem was originally released in 1992, guys. It also had a port very much later on in 2007 onto the Nintendo Wii. Um, but onto, obviously, the shop. Um, wow, what a fantastic flipping game this is. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, I love my shoot em ups, guys, and so does Nate, and he's loving this one at the moment, he's playing it heavily. Now, like I said, the uh, the enemies, one minute it's almost like they're octopuses and uh, crab like, uh, and then the next are like beetles. Literally, like this says bio, guys, any kind of like weird biological, weird looking thing, really, mutants almost. Uh, in some respects and you get a very different types of ships guys um, you start off with quite a few and they're all a little bit weird as well they all look a little bit like they're creatures from under the sea guys basically that's what they look like so yeah will you join me as we take a look at just one game guys but what a fantastic one from the Mega Drive Stroke Genesis guys as we take a look at Biohazard Battle, or Battles, <laughs> for the brilliant, brilliant, in my case, Mega Drive guys. Right, hold on to your britches because this is another fantastic shoot em up, guys. And, yeah, a dedication to my bestie, Nate. Right, back in a sec. Right, here we go, guys. This game for Nate. My best mate. Let's have a listen to that music a minute. And watch the demo. I have actually covered this game on my channel before, believe it or not. It was quite some time ago. So it doesn't matter that we jump back on it, because it is a fantastic game, guys. I just love the different types of monsters you get in this. It's just brilliant. Or should I say, different types of enemy. Right, shall we play this thing? Here we go, guys. One player, absolutely. Who shall we be? Let's have a look. Ooh, sport for choice. But I do like the look of the first one, so stick with that. I'm straight in, guys. Here we go. There we go, straight in with the action. This is a hard game, guys. It is a hard game. 
Oh, see, it's unforgiving as well. Of course, it had that unpronounceable name back in Japan. Look at that, that's fantastic. Huh? The way you can shoot up like that. Not all the time, though. <laughs> It is literally like you should be under the sea, that is. This is a fantastic show. Huh? Very, very different. Just in the way it runs already is awesome. Okay. We got through stage one, that's fine. Stage two. Now a different background altogether. This is what I love about this game. We've got all these different backgrounds, guys. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously we were in the sky last time. Now, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that's all right, we'll continue. Continue? Yes, of course I want to continue, silly. Let's try a different one this time. Let's go just go for the next one. Here we go with stage two still. Look up. That is brilliant. Look at that weapon. That is cool. So we've got it. Keep getting those power ups, guys, and unlike me, it keeps missing half of them. Oh, no last minute. Oh no, crashed into myself. Good bugger. That's it, got it. With me. Oh, you yeah, bugger. Those things are, oh, they're merciless. Yeah. Right, let's go for a different one again. So you get to see the different enemies and what they're doing. Well, I'm probably going to be stuck on this one, aren't I? Let's face it. Oh, it's a pretty nice weapon as well. Oh, didn't kill him in time, did it? I'm so Oh, dear me. How crap was that? Get out of the way. No! Oh! How annoying. Right, okay. Let's continue again and we'll go for the last one. And then we'll just go back to the original one if need be. And you see, I love this weapon, guys. This is fantastic. It? it does get rid of most things in time. Not those bloody worm things, though. No, I have a better weapon for that. Originally. We've got him that time, really. Oh, and then they get me just there. That's fantastic. Yeah, fantastic weapon, guys. Everybody fantastic. Someone's going to get me in there now. Isn't just that poxy. Yeah, there he comes. Right, right, a sob. Oh, you bugger. Didn't kill it. No, we can't kill it. Yes, we can. Good, good, good. That's what we wanted. No. Oh, you absolute sod oh okay okay yeah and we'll go back to the first one 
There we go. Let's try and see if we beat this level. No. Oh, I'm not going to do it like that, am I? I'm oh, not. Dead or you know, this, this weapon's awful. I'm trying to get the other ones, but I'm dead already, guys. Dead already. Let's keep going. Right, back with him. Right, I'm going to hold back a bit this time. Let's see if I can't just keep this weapon in. Is that one you get? It's a bit awful. Then you get a choice of them, really, don't you? But I'm just trying to keep out of their way, really. But I don't seem to be able to kill them very easy, those bloody worm things. Out of the way. Oh, I still bloody got me. Got that one. Where's that bloody fantastic weapon I had earlier, eh? Where is that gone? Oh, it's so good. Yep, no, they got me again, guys. They got me again because I didn't go to the top. Bugger. Alright. Okay, back with that one. Oh no! Too bloody early, guys, too bloody early. Got me at the same time. Oh, seriously. Game over. Game over again. I like the way they keep giving you more rare uh, choices though, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm never going to beat this level. Let's just be straight about that, shall we? And this is a pretty impressive weapon, isn't it? I would think that this one could do it as nothing else, wouldn't it? Oh, they can't look. Ho 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 ho! I'm literally down to one life again, guys. I'm gonna stay up here this time, eh? Look at all that stupid. Anything's where when it comes. There it comes, but there it comes. Oh, it got me anyway. Bugger. More continues? Yeah. I know I'm crap anyway, guys, but jeez, look at me. Oh, look at this one. Look. Wow, look at that weapon. Oh, they've still got me, though, look. Oh. Oh, they've still got me, guys. They've still got me. Bugger. Back to him. I think I prefer this one. Even though it doesn't help with much of the worms. I just got deaded. Oh, and again. I don't think anything helps with me, guys. Nothing. <laughs> oh dear. Run out of all my continues. I mean, they give you a bloody lot, don't they? Eh? Seriously, man. Right, try again. Let's try again one more time. Come on. Let's have a quick vape.
Oh, dear, I don't know this. Toss it up with this thing, isn't it? Looking things. Oh, we're on the first level, guys, aren't we? Well, apart from that, we're going to start talking. That's the end of the level one. Yeah. Guess I played it with one death. We'll go try again. Stage two. Again. I've still got that weapon, guys. It doesn't really help so much. Oh! Got me again, guys. Got me again. There's where all the continues back. I won't make you uh, watch all the continues though. We'll just do uh, one more round, guys, I think. Oh, it's always that one, now. Always that one. Oh, I've got me again. Oh, he got me. Ah, there we go, guys. I mean, that's 15 minutes, so that's absolutely fantastic. What a blinding, blinding game, and I'm so glad that Nate got me to jump back on it again, guys. You might have only seen the two levels there, but what a fantastic game. Right, back with my final thoughts. Wow, eh? That is very interesting, isn't it? What an interesting shooter that is, guys. Shoot them up. Schmop. Um yeah, absolutely awesome. Uh, just just the enemies alone, guys, are so interesting looking, aren't they? I mean one minute you've got like I said, underwater creatures, then you've got like what look like almost like garden creatures, garden bugs, and then you've got those weird um cart things that come along the rails and oh wow, yeah. There's different backgrounds, guys. I mean obviously, you know, you only saw two levels, didn't you? So you haven't got much to go by, but you're in the sky, aren't you, on level one? And once you cleared that one, guys, you go into what looks like a city in the background almost, or a city stroke factory kind of thing. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant game, guys. It's stunning looking, and it is just absolutely fantastic to play. Rock bloody hard, but they give you plenty of continues. Not that it did me any good, but they do give you plenty of continues. Now, what I didn't actually, I don't believe, say earlier, or said earlier, is that it is developed and released by Sega themselves. And as I said back in 1992, guys, so this is a Sega gen. Um, and then ported over, of course, to the Virtual Console on the Wii in 2007. Um, but yeah, what, what a little stunner, guys. Whatever way you play it, this is a little stunner. Um, but yeah, oh... It is hard, guys, as you might have been able to tell from that video. It didn't have to give me a run around, didn't it? Ring, ring, round my bloody garden. That's for freaking sure and uh, under the sea. Because that's where they're bloody coming from, isn't it? Hey, God, they are really weird looking things. Like I said earlier, guys. Yeah, under the sea, in your garden. And mutated as well. There's all these different elements kind of like roped into one here, which I absolutely love about it. You don't know what you're going to hit next as an enemy. You really don't. It's very, very interesting in that sense. Um, looks looks absolutely stunning. The music's fantastic as well. So all rounder. If you love shoot 'em ups, smops, oh, 
you got to have this one in your collection, guys. You'd probably be better off buying the Japanese version. You'd probably get a hell of a lot cheaper. I'm not sure on the price of this one now, but the last time I saw one floating around on eBay, I think it went for about 40 quid. So it was uh, pretty expensive then already. It's probably gone sky high now. Uh, with the prices bloody going up all the time at the moment. Um, so yeah, you might be better off getting the uh, Japanese version. Or... Doing the usual, guys, before you even buy it at all, grab an emulator, stick the ROM on and play it that way and decide whether you want to invest that amount of money into the game. Um, because, yeah, that is quite a bit of money. But there we go, guys. That was a special for my bestie. And, uh, yeah, and just a fantastic game to play on again, guys. Um, I really enjoyed playing on it again, even though I only got two, two bloody levels. But that's just me, isn't it, eh? Right, that just leaves me with the usuals then. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a bummy thumbs up if you're feeling that way inclined. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, do you love emulation? Because if that's how you're going to play it, I'm sure you do. Handheld, home systems, whatever, guys. I've got a fantastic Facebook group for you. It's the Retro Emulation Fan Group. And it is a stellar place, guys, for any emulation we have reviews of consoles handheld and home systems we also have reviews of custom firmware that you can drop on the handhelds because there's many different ones and you may need a bit of help choosing the right one for you and lots of tech help videos plus oh it's just an ever-growing group of members guys and they're all like-minded they're all emulation enthusiasts we have a fantastic admin team as well to answer all your questions oh it's just a brilliant place so head over to facebook look up the retro emulation fan group and join up guys and we'll welcome you with open arms then i also have my uk crap gaming facebook page as well where we cover everything retro to modern Lots of YouTubers putting their videos up there, so there's tons of content for you to be watching. And again, guys, just loads of like-minded people all loving gaming from all the different eras, guys. So if you just want a good old banter with us all, head over to Facebook, look up UK Crap Gaming, all lowercase, and ask to join, and I will accept you in no time. And then, guys, last, I have a Patreon. It is linked below. If you'd like to head over to Patreon and watch my video on why I set it up in the first place, it explains it all, guys. And then, yeah, decide if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. And say, so, Vida Zane, tschüss, and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys. <laughs>